And now, The Morning Rush. Here we go, everything you need to know to get your day started. Danielle DeRoss kicks off your Morning Rush. Country music star Toby Keith has died at the age of 62. According to statements on his social media, Keith passed away peacefully, surrounded by his family overnight. The singer had been battling stomach cancer since 2021. He sold more than 40 million records across his decades-long career that included performances for U.S. troops serving overseas. Loved ones are preparing for memorial service for Florida Highway Patrooper Zachary Fink. He was killed Friday morning while chasing a man with an extensive criminal history on I-95 in the Port St. Lucie area. Florida Highway Patrol says a truck driver was also killed in a crash that resulted from the chase. A ceremonial procession was held yesterday to take Fink's body to a funeral home. Right now, the water is clean and safe to drink in Riviera Beach, but an investigation is now underway after the mayor says residents may have drank contaminated water. Last month, the city announced that in June 2023, one of the water wells tested positive for E. coli, but assured residents the water was safe by the time it reached homes. The Palm Beach County Health Department then alerted the mayor yesterday that the report was inaccurate. The mayor says there will be consequences for those who were involved in the incident. Harborside Place has submitted a plan to the town of Jupiter on what it intends to do with the fountain where a father was electrocuted trying to save his kids back in October. There are plans to remove power from the fountain. Right now it remains covered by plywood. There is no indication that it will be demolished. Developers are eyeing the West Palm Beach waterfront for future development. West Palm Beach city leaders approved the first reading of a plan to turn parts of North Flagler Drive into a mixed use area. Residents of Flagler Point condos aren't on board with the plan, citing concerns about quality of life, loss of privacy and more traffic. A second reading of the proposal will be discussed at a future city council meeting. We're looking outside right now in Jensen Beach. It's a rough day out on the water. Still a bit of a cloudy sky off the coastline, but we'll see a lot more sunshine today as that low pressure is continuing to move away. You can see some of those clouds off the coast right now, but as that low moves east, it will take the clouds and any of that lingering rain with it. Now, a brief shower could still kind of pop up right near the coastline. Uh, kind of the wraparound moisture on the back end of that low, but most of us, again, are much drier for today. Little evening coastal shower, not out of the question either. We're in the 50s this morning. It is a nice, cool start. Winds out of the northwest. It will be very breezy today, really windy, I should say. Speeds between 25 and 30 miles per hour. Temperatures will be below average this afternoon. Highs are only in the 60s, but we're going to be back in the low 70s for tomorrow. Lauren, thanks. Let's take one last look at our roads. Northern Palm Beach County in Jupiter, all looking good there on 95 and the Turnpike. It is a nice start out there on our Tuesday morning. Thank you so much for joining us. Yes, yeah, so here's the deal. We're back in 30 minutes with another local update. And then, of course, we hope that you join us right here on CBS 12 News at 9 as well. But in the meantime, the news is always on every hour of the day on CBS12.com. Let's leave you with a live look out at the Lake Worth Pier. Have a fantastic day, everybody.